Welcome back to your return to Daniel.com, 31st of May, 2021, a short video for you today. In the media, there's quite a, a huge um, push right now um, for cross-sex hormones for children. And this really started like wildfire back in around 2008 or nine in that time frame. And so what's happened is we have a huge influx, thousands and thousands of young people that are in their late teens or early 20s. And they um, did the cross-sex hormones and they had surgery to have body parts removed. And now they're expressing deep regret and they are very sorrowful that they've done what they've done and mutilated their bodies. And so what's happening is, and I've just learned this recently myself, I was born a biological male. You can find my full story at returntodaniel.com. I've got a book there. Um, and I uh, was abused by uh, a sick, uh, mentally ill, alcoholic mother. I was uh, at three to six or seven years old. I was abused in the bathtub. I, she played with my male genitals and put the uh, fear of being masculine into my brain. Um, my father had divorced her because of her problems. And um, so I grew up with this fear of masculinity. And so I had what's known as disassociative identity disorder. But when I um, suffered from uh, substance abuse for until age 34, when I finally was able to get sober through um, self-help recovery groups and the power of God, I, it was all God-centered, um, that then I was diagnosed with gender identity disorder, but that was the wrong diagnosis. And I went down a rabbit hole and I had male body parts removed and I lived with female body parts for 10 years. And then God woke me up. Uh, in 2016, instantly ripped out my disassociative identity disorder problem. If I had any uh, gender identity disorder, he ripped that right out of me too, because I've not, since that very morning, I prayed out to God. I'm miserable. I was probably suicidal. I had had suicidal ideation around six months after I had my male genitals removed in 2006. And so my, my message this morning is a plea for anyone that has a child, uh, for the young people, don't do it. Get mental health therapy, get the right diagnosis because disassociative identity disorder is when it's caused by childhood trauma. And that's what happened to me. And I fell down to the, the media has uh, ever since the movie Tootsie came out and uh, there's probably some more, but that's the one that's coming to mind while I'm making this video. Uh, the media has just pushed this transgender movement onto society and it's destroying lives. And so my call and plea is get the right mental health therapy. And please subscribe to returntodaniel.com. I've got a YouTube channel and my website. God bless you. Bye.